good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome Tinkercad lesson today because it's almost Thanksgiving. We're gonna make a turkey. My friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so you should be able to do this if it is your first lesson or if you've done many. Just when you get in, click create a new design. When it launches, let's change the name and let's put turkey and let's put our initials after it. I've done this once, twice, or maybe six times. I'm gonna call mine Turkey MDH5. We're gonna start by bringing out a sphere. The sphere is really cool for this. I want you to hold down shift and I want you to grow it all at the same time until it's in the 30s. And then I want you to stretch it out so it's the belly. So if we look at this from a corner, you can see that it looks kind of like a turkey's belly and it's time for us to add some cool legs. We're gonna do that by going to the characters and they actually give us some awesome feet that we can just bring in and use. Instead of making two legs, we're gonna use the awesome duplicate trick to make a second leg, and then just use the arrow keys to move it across where you want. Click on the belly, and let's hide it with the cute hide button, grab those two cool legs, and group them. Now when you do show, you've got legs and a belly. If you draw a box that touches them all, it'll say two shapes selected, and then you can click the button in the middle, which will center them. Now let's click on our turkey, and you could lift it with the cone, but I prefer control up arrow because it goes one millimeter at a time. I'm also gonna use the left arrow because this is where the front is, and that moves my turkey's body so it's a little further forward or back until I'm happy. You can also right click and drag and look at it from every direction. You can roll your wheel forward and take a look at it. You also can click fit view or home to immediately get cool views of your sweet turkey. I want my turkey to be brown, so I'm gonna click on the color option and choose one of the browns. Alrighty friends, this is the magical skill, bring out a sphere. Click on that and change its height to 40. Click on the front edge and change it to five wide and three thick. Let's zoom in right to it with the fit view, roll back a few degrees so we're sure we see that rotation handle. And now I want you to do duplicate, click the arrow key four times, and then I want you to rotate it a few degrees so that they're lined up. Do not touch anything else, and when you do control D again and again and again, it memorizes the moves to make awesome feathers. If you touch anything in between, it cancels it out. So you gotta make sure you don't do that. It may take you one or two tries to get it, but once you do, oh my gosh, is it awesome. Then you can go through and make each a different color so that your turkey's feathers look unbelievably awesome. Now you are not forced to make yours look like a realistic turkey. You can make yours look any way that you want. You can also click on the custom colors and make your own fancy ones as well, where you just pull it out to the spot you want and then choose it. When you're done, take that stack of feathers, select them all and group them. You'll notice that they will turn to one color, but we can fix that by simply clicking the color and choosing multicolor to bring them back. We want feathers on both sides, so let's do Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna use the arrows to move them to the other side, and let me show you another fantastic tool called Mirror. When we do this, we can hit the little button, and boom, our feathers totally flip and fit in an amazing way. You can customize the rotation, whatever you need to get them perfect. Remember, if you move a long ways from the shape, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay close to the middle, it goes to those longer snap lines. I'm gonna get mine like that. I'm gonna draw a box that touches those two shapes and I'm gonna group them. It'll probably switch to one color and I do have to wait a moment for it to come together. And if it had turned to one color, I would turn on multicolor again, but mine did not. So if I look at it from a corner, I can see that I need to move those feathers over and up, and I'm just doing this with the arrow keys. And then I'm gonna do control up to raise them up. And then I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna center it as well by doing a large rectangle that touches all three shapes. 
and when I hit a line, my feathers will be totally lined up with my turkey, and then I can move it left and right as I want, and I could also do control down or control up until I was perfectly happy with my turkey feathers. Let's click on our turkey's body and do duplicate again, which could also be control D. I'm going to pull it out in front. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to squish it. And this is going to be my neck. As I pull it forward, I'm trying to find that perfect size so it looks like the neck that I want. I'm going to do control up to lift it up. I'm going to stretch it out longer so the neck is a little bit long. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And then I'm going to continue that control up till it's where I want. I'm going to grab it all again and I'm going to do a line so that new turkey neck is in the middle. I think I'm going to tilt it just a little bit more so I can find that perfect way for my turkey's head to look. And now I'm going to bring out a nether sphere and I'm going to make it the turkey head. Just shrinking it till I'm happy. There's no right or wrong. This is just how I want to make it. Pick my little brown turkey color. I'm going to make his head a little skinnier and center it again. And let's do that control up to lift it up till it's where the turkey's head should be. Once again, look at it from the side to make sure I've got it connected. That is connected and I'm pretty darn happy. Let's do some eyeballs really, really quick. I'm going to do those with the sphere as well. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink them down to what I think the eyeball size might be. Use the amazing fit view to zoom in and then watch this. Duplicate, take a second one, hold down shift, squish it just a little bit. I'm going to make the big one white. I'm going to make the little one black. So it's like the pupil. If I want to make it a little bit smaller, I can change my grid. And then when I hold shift, it shrinks by smaller amounts. I'm going to click on that little eyeball and I'm going to move it with control up. Get a line and make it so it looks cool. When I've got those sweet little eyeballs looking just the way I want, I'm going to grab the two of them and I'm going to group them. I'm going to turn back on that multicolor and now I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything. And with that amazing little eyeball created, I can do control up to move it up, control over to move it over and get it aligned on the head just the way I want. Let's zoom in a little closer, scroll out, make sure that eyeball looks just the way I want. When you're happy with the first eyeball, you can do control D, move it over to the other side with the arrow keys. And if you want it googly eyed, you can simply use mirror to flip it so it looks the other way. You could also make custom eyes so it turns out really, really awesome. Our little buddy needs a beak. You could do a beak with anything. I'm gonna do a beak with a pyramid. Once again, I'm going to bring it out. This time I'm going to look at it from that corner. This is real important so you can see the rotate. So my beak is aimed that way. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to squish it all the same amount. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it over and get it aligned to my head. I'm actually going to just drag it close. Now do control up to raise it up. See if I got lucky and it's actually connected. The way to double check that is from the corner. You can see I did miss, but I can just nudge that back with the arrow keys and do control down so it connects with the face. That's still a little bit large, so I am just gonna hold down shift and squish it all a little bit as I line it up and get it exactly where I want. Alrighty friends, so this is where it gets totally magical. You can use all the skills I've given you, all the amazing things in the characters. Have fun, see how awesome you can make your turkey. Maybe give them the little waddle that they have. Use scribble to do eyebrows. You can add anything you want, including your favorite things you would see at a holiday meal. Have fun, make sure it's awesome. If you do something incredible, make sure you share a screenshot with us at HLMontech on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Holidays.